Hello, Dot Hackers. Today we're going to talk about how to upscale your Dot Hack infection, mutation, outbreak, quarantine, fragment, Dot Hack GU, rebirth, reminiscence, redemption for the PS2 on the PC emulator PC2SX2. So, by default, the first thing you'll notice is the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. This can be fixed very easily, very quickly. All you need to do is go to the PCSX2 window, click on Config, Video, go to Windows Settings, and you should see something that looks like this, where it says GS window selected here, and at the top says Aspect Ratio, Standard 4.3. Modern television monitors and mobile phones all use 16.9 so click on 16.9 and click apply and as you can see the game fit and stretched to fit the window itself now the game was not built for 4.3 so you might see some extra content in the margins that you normally wouldn't see so that's fine so we'll go ahead and hit ok so this is dot hack infection I have loaded here and if you look closely on login, you'll see some of the jagged edge nests right here, as well as a bunch of jagged edges everywhere. Now these are mostly just images loaded up here, but when you get to 3D models, that jaggedness becomes much more noticeable. So let's go ahead and go into the game here. We're gonna upscale from native PS2, which this emulator tries to emulate the best it can of what a PS2 would look like. But it also has the ability to upscale even further. So, like I said, the jagged edges on his sleeve, his hat, his hair, and just how lifeless the textures look. Now, see if you can see his face. Very hardly noticeable. I mean, you could zoom in, get a little better look. But let's go ahead and change that by going to the PCSX window, going to Config, Video, Plugin Settings, and you should get a window that looks a lot like this. So I'm using OpenGL as my renderer. You can also choose Direct 3D11 or software, or you can download more plugins to change the how the renderers are handled on the game. OpenGL is just fine in my opinion, so we're going to use that. So here we have different resolutions. We have native PS2, two times native, three times, four times, five times, six times, and eight times native. And you can get a little example of how many pixels that would be. Like for example, 4K would be 1440. And anisotropic filtering you have two times, four times, eight times, and 16 times. Dithering, you have off, scaled, and unscaled. Mip mapping, you have automatic, off, basic, full, and slow. CRC hacking, you have automatic, none, minimum, partial, full, and aggressive. And blending settings, you have none, basic, medium, high, full, and ultra. Now, when you select one of these drop-down menus, when you hit OK, they will should immediately apply. So if I were to go to four times native, four times anisotropic filtering, if I leave dithering alone, change MIP mapping to basic, CRC hacking, let's change that to partial, and blending accuracy, let's set that to medium. So if I hit OK, Instantly, you'll notice that Kite looks a whole lot crisper and cleaner. There's no more jagged edges. His arm looks fine, his backpack is fine, his blades look better, and so much more. Textures look a little bit better. 
definitely a little bit sharper. 3D models are definitely represented here. So already we've upscaled the game quite a bit. We can go further. Now, it's going to depend on the strength of your PC and how much you can do. So at some point, it's going to get a little bit slow. So let's try eight times, eight times. So tell me what you think. Play around with the settings. You can use an upscaler if you have a PS2. They've got a couple little devices that can you hook up the composite cables or the component cables, and so you can get different results with that as well. But for PC, this is a lot faster, a lot quicker. Uh, also, there happens to be some widescreen patches you can do as well that can make them look less fat looking here. But you'll have to enable those and upload a uh, pnatch file into your cheat underscore ws folder. But there you go. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and please join our .hack Discord. And thank you for watching.